Now that we know how many units of our product we're going to produce, we need to look at our materials budget. And there's two things we need to consider. How much material do we need to produce these units of our products? That will be our materials usage budget. And the second consideration is how much material do we need to purchase throughout the year and what will that cost us? That will be our material purchases budget. So continuing on from our prior exercises, we're going to prepare then our materials budget. Right, well we have our three products, the collarette, the pom-pom and the cacti, and we, know no, we now know how many units of each of those products we're going to produce. In addition to that, we have been provided with some information on our materials. So this company uses three different materials in its production process, M1, M2 and M3. And we're told how much of each material is used in each of our three products. We're going to need that information for our materials usage budget. In addition, we're told what the cost per kilogram of each of the three materials is. And finally, we are given our opening and closing stock budgets for each material. We'll need to consider that last piece of information when we're calculating our materials purchases budget. Right, so let's have a look then and get into calculating, first of all, our materials usage budget. We've said we have three materials we need to consider, M1, M2 and M3. And we need to look at how much of these materials we're going to use in the production of our three products, the collarette, the pom-pom, and not forgetting about cacti. So let's look back at the question then, starting with material M1. So we know how many kilograms per unit we use of material M1 in the production of each of our products. We also know how many units of those products we are planning to produce. So calculating our usage of material 1 should be quite straightforward then. We just need to look at our production units and multiply that by the kilograms of M1 used in each unit. So back to our usage budget for M1. We're producing 2,100 units of collarette and each unit requires 5 kilograms of M1. So our usage then will be 10,500 kilograms. Likewise for pom-pom, how many units of pom-pom are we producing? I think it was 4,200, multiplied by the number of kilograms of M1 we use per unit, which we're told is 3 kilograms. So our total usage in the production of pom-pom will be 12,600 kilograms. And finally, for cacti, we are producing 3,100 units, where each unit uses 2 kilograms of M1. So our usage in the production of cacti will be 6,200 kilograms. For each material then, we'll need to calculate our total usage, and we can see for material M1, our total usage is going to be 10,500 kilograms, 
plus 12,600 kilograms plus the 6,200 for cacti. I think if you type that into your calculators, you should get 29,300 kilograms. And that's our usage budget for material M1 complete. All we need to do now is repeat the process for materials M2 and M3. Let's do that then. So for material M2, let's have a quick look back. What's our usage per unit? For collarette, we need 2 kilograms per unit. For pom-pom, also 2 kilograms per unit. And for cacti, we only need 1 kilogram per unit of material M2. Bringing this back into our materials usage budget. For cacti then, we're going to use 2,100 multiplied by 2 kilograms of M2, giving us 4,000. 200. For pom-pom, we're producing 4,200 units multiplied by 2 kilograms. Did you get 8,400? And finally for cacti, we're producing 3,100 units multiplied by 1 kilogram giving us 3,100. Again, we need to look then, what will our total usage of material M2 be? I hope you've put that into your calculator and worked out that our total usage is going to be 15,700 kilograms. Maybe you've gone ahead and already calculated the usage for M3 but let's work through it quickly anyway. So for M3, our usage, well we see for collarette, we don't need any material M3, so our usage there will be zero. For pom-pom, two kilograms per unit, and for cacti, three kilograms per unit. So we've said, for collarette, we're not going to use any kilograms of material M3. For pom-pom, 4,200 units by 2 kilograms per unit again gives us 8,400. And finally, cacti, 3,100 units requiring 3 kilograms of M3 per unit. And we get 9,300. So our total usage budget then for material M3 will be 17,700 kilograms. And that's our materials usage budget complete. So based on the units of each product we're going to produce, we have now worked out how much of each material, M1, M2, M3, we are going to need. We said at the start we had to consider two things when looking at our materials budget process. We've done our usage budget, and if you recall, the second thing we said we were going to look at was our materials purchases budget. We know how much material we're going to use, now we need to work out how much material are we going to have to buy. And the thing we will need to consider here is our opening and closing stock requirements. So this is going to be very similar then to our production budget. Let's have a look. So we're told in the question what our opening and closing stock of each material needs to be. What do we need to do with, with that information? Well, if you recall, opening stock is going to the, 
is going to be the material available to us for use at the start of the year. So if we have kilograms of material already available for use, then we're not going to need to buy them. So we can subtract our opening stock from our purchases budget. Our closing stock is the stock we want to have left over of each material at the end of the year. If we want to have it left over at the end of the year, then we are going to have to buy that at some point during the year. So, let's calculate then our materials purchases budget for each of our three materials. So our materials purchases budget again needs to consider each of our three materials. Now we've just calculated our materials usage budget, so the material we're going to use in production. Of course, if we're going to use this material in production, then we are going to have to buy it. So the first thing we'll include in our purchases budget then is the information from our usage budget. We said we were going to use 29,300 kilograms of M1, 15,700 kilograms of M2, and 17,700 kilograms of M3. The next thing we need to consider then is our closing stock. Remember, if we want to have kilograms of material left over in our closing stock at the end of the year, then we are going to have to add this on to the materials we purchase throughout the year. So our next step then will be to add on our closing stock, which I think was 18,000 kilograms for M1. 9,000 kilograms for M2 and 12,000 kilograms for M3. We're nearly there. The very last thing we need to include then in our purchases budget is our opening stock. Our opening stock is the material that we will have already bought and is available for use at the start of the year. So we can subtract this from our purchases budget. And we're told in the question our opening stock of M1 will be 21,000 kilograms, 10,000 kilograms of M2, and 16,000 kilograms of M3. Our last step then in our purchases budget is to just add together this information and work out how many kilograms of each material we are actually going to buy throughout the year. So for M1 then, we have 29,300 plus 18,000 minus 21,000 gives us 26,300 kilograms. For M2, 15,700 plus 9,000 minus the 10,000 gives us 14,700. And doing the same calculation for material M3, when you put that into your calculator, I hope you get 13,700 kilograms. So we've calculated then what our purchases of materials are going to be in kilograms for the year. Remember we said though, we also want to know how much do we expect this to cost us. And we've been given one final piece of information in the question. We've also been told what we expect the cost per kilogram for each of the materials to be. So for M1, we expect to pay £5 per kilogram.
for M2, three pounds per kilogram, and for M3, four pounds per kilogram. Bringing that into our budget then, last little step, we have our cost per kilogram. So calculating our total material cost for each material should be quite straightforward then. For material M1, we're going to purchase 26,300 kilograms at five pounds per kilogram, which will give us a total material cost of 131,500 pounds. For M2, we're going to purchase 14,700 kilograms at three pounds per kilogram, giving us a total cost of 44,100. And finally, for material M3, we'll purchase 13,700 kilograms at four pounds each, giving us a total cost of 54,800. And now we've completed our materials budget for the year.